Hey there, my AI art enthusiasts. Your host Chris here. Or is it? This is actually an AI generated avatar I crafted. Always on the hunt for the next big thing in AI, I stumbled upon AI Turbo, a new mid journey contender. I found it just when I needed it most. Picture this, my trusty PC, the heart of my work, unexpectedly crashes. So AI Tubo's online tools came to my rescue. They approached me and asked if I could create a video about their tool. And I was like, I can answer that for money. And while I appreciate what Midjourney offers in general, I'm still unhappy about the fact that Midjourney is exclusively available on Discord. AI Tubu is an online AI art generator that supports a wide array of stable diffusion models. Not only do they support LoRa's, but they have also integrated ControlNet. You will find the link to AI Tubu down in my video description. You will get 100 free stars on sign up. Once you have registered, you will be greeted with this interview. Interface. Let's dive into the models they offer. You will notice they feature many renowned checkpoints such as Ref Animated, Deliberate, Epic Realism and the list goes on and on. They've even incorporated Stable Diffusion XL models. Beyond the base model, my topic has to be Dream Shaper XL. If you recall, I previously dedicated a video to it. And here you can explore all the LoRa's. Kudos to the AI Tubo team, they're consistently expanding this collection. Two of my topics are Epi Noise Offset and Detail Tweaker. Both can significantly enhance the quality of the images. So let's explore the heart of their service, the AI Generator. In the prompt section you simply input your desired theme or concept. And as you know, I always come prepared. Today's theme? Mars Utopian City inside a dome digital illustration. A pro tip, it's often beneficial to reference an artist in the prompts. I've chosen Alina Aenami, particular for her mesmerizing use of colors. Next you can choose how many images you'd like to generate simultaneously. Below that you will find the resolution settings. For SD 1.5 you will want to pick from these four options, but if you're working with SDXL you have the freedom to aim higher. Just before you press generate, you will notice the cost breakdown. Remember, generating multiple images or opting for a higher resolution will naturally come at a higher price. At the top, you will notice a display of your credits or stars. Hang tight, I will soon walk you through how to acquire more. Now let's hit render. It might take a moment, but generally the process is swift. Voila, that's quite impressive for an initial attempt. This one here is my favorite. But why stop here? Let's refine it even more. Here you have two options. Your regular old upscale and generative upscale. This has the potential to significantly improve the image quality. Let's render both and compare. The standard upscale seems to give a sharper finish. The generative upscale however brings it more close to Elena and Nami's art style. You will recognize the slightly dreamy, out of focus aesthetic. Here's another piece I crafted using the generative upscale and it turned out splendidly. Do you get stuck on what to input in the prompt? No worries, Prompt Enhancer has your back. Simply activate it and now you can type in a simple prompt. The AI will figure out the rest. Remember, your prompt should be under 65 characters. Look at this. Could have a little bit more brightness, but overall I'm really satisfied. Feel free to switch models whenever you wish. While many models are complementary, there are premium ones like Ref Animated you will need to upgrade to a pro membership. Ref Animated is fantastic for semi-realistic visuals. If you need more inspiration, what you can do is you can use the prompts in an image by just clicking on the image and click try this param. This will transfer all generation parameters directly to the generator. Now let's trigger our image using a LoRa. Let's see, we have a lot to choose from. I suggest we go with this Ghibli style LoRa. For those of you who do not know, Studio Ghibli is a Japanese animation studio with a certain art style as you can see. At the bottom you can adjust the LoRa's intensity. I think 0.6 should deliver good results. This is amazing. As you can see I upscaled it and it was so worth it. Now let's delve into two features I haven't touched upon yet. Guidance Scale and Steps Guidance Scale is basically how much artistic freedom you give the AI. A higher value means AI will stick more to your prompts. I'd recommend setting it between 7 and 12. 
The step count indicates the number of iteration the AI undergoes to refine your image. For lifelike visuals, I typically choose between 30 and 45. For anime or comic style images, you can opt for fewer steps. Wondering about seed? Every image has a unique seed. Given the deterministic nature of the AI, using identical settings, prompts and seed will reproduce the same image. Schedulers are distinct algorithms that manage noise in varied ways, leading to different image outcomes. With the image-to-image -image feature, you have the power to craft a new image inspired by an image you created here or an uploaded one. Now, while this is impressive on its own, let's step up our game with ControlNet. ControlNet is an extension of Stable Diffusion designed to generate images based on existing data. For instance, Kenny focuses on edge detection, directing the AI's attention to outlines. Today, we will experiment with OpenPose. For this, upload an image of a person. The outline needs to be clear. Otherwise, ControlNet OpenPose will lead to an unexpected result. Also, craft your prompt accordingly. This looks truly captivating. So all this generating costs credits or stars. How do you get free stars? Simply click up here once daily. You will be rewarded with 50 stars. Lastly, I highly recommend joining the AI Tubo Discord server for more insights and discussions. AI Tubo offers daily themed activities where you can get benefits and rewards. And if you're hungry for more generations, consider upgrading your membership. Let's venture into SDXL territory. We change our model once more. While I have a soft spot for DreamShaper XL, feel free to choose your favorite. We will use the straightforward prompt and then click render. Impressive, right? Before we wrap up, there's one more invaluable tool I'd like to introduce. The AI Editor. It's a game changer for tasks like inpainting, outpainting or general art edits. Let's pull up an image from my personal collection and dive right in. Notice the violet area, that's our active workspace. Anything outside won't factor into the rendering process. For inpainting, let's grab the brush. Increase the size with the slider. Let's try to change her hair color. Paint over it. Don't worry if you overpaint parts of her face. As Bob Ross would say, these are happy little accidents. I want it to be long red hair. While this looks beautiful, let's try other colors. This time I used short black hair. Looks also very good. Very stylish, but let's change her more. Paint over her flowers and type horns. You can basically change every aspect of the character, even the eyes. Uh, I like these. Now let's give her a proper outfit. What about Red Devil outfit? Very nice finish. Remember to download your masterpiece because as of now your progress isn't automatically saved. Ready for another impressive feature? Let's dive into background removal. Let's pull another image from my personal collection. Click on image matting, then select the person. Give it a moment and voila! The background vanishes seamlessly. For my next trick, let's revisit the previous image. Shift the box to the left. For prompt, add forest. Just make sure the box covers at least half of the original image. Otherwise, the AI will produce less desirable content. Notice how the image expands? That's outpainting in action. Now the right side. And generate. I can choose between these images because I decided to create more than one image. This technique is perfect for images that got cut off too early. As you can see on my final result, you can do this as long as you like. Remember the snazzy AI avatar I introduced at the start of the video? Let's dive into how I crafted it. You have either the option to upload a pre-existing image or select one from your gallery. If you choose your own image, it's important that the character in the image faces the viewer. Once done, navigate to audio script. Here you can upload a pre-recorded mp3 file. I used Audacity to record mine. Simply hit generate and you're all set. Hey YouTube, what's up? If you ever find yourself in need of inspiration, the community tab is your go-to. There you can browse through the latest creations. As demonstrated earlier, you can experiment with the prompts shared by the community. From my personal opinion, AI Tubal is a great tool with a lot of potential. Whether you're in a jam or just feeling creative, give AI Tubal a whirl. It's free after all. It's been a revelation for me. To support this channel, consider joining me on Patreon. Over there, I share renderings and prompts on a regular basis. Until next time, your host Chris.